You ever wondered why at a dress, Mo set the club slightly on the heel? In other words, from a down the line view, Mo set the club slightly on the heel of the golf club. Why did he do that? Well, of course, there's a simple reason for it. So when you watch a video of a single plane swing and you watch the video of Mo Norman, you see the club sitting behind the ball. Now I've discussed the benefits and the single plane swing and why Mo did that. Obviously there's some reasons he did that. It's, it's biomechanical in the sense that he's more tilted and that the, the body is more, uh, it's less open here than it is at impact. So he did it because it actually simplifies the ability to take the club back on the proper path in the backswing. I have an entire video on that. Please refer to that video and you can watch why Mo set the club behind the ball and the biomechanical benefits of that. But the question that a lot of people ask is why is the face not open, right? So if you put the club behind the ball, why isn't the face open? And it's because he didn't rotate the club face to an open position, he tilted the body. For example, if, you, if I go here and I tilt, you see it's not, it's not opening the face. So in other words, I can have the face square here and I can have it square here. I'm simply tilting the body differently. So it's the tilt of the body that's changing so the club face isn't rotated open, right? So here's my address position and, there, and here's when I'm not tilted and that's when I am tilted and that club is square in both places at, at address. So it's a tilt of the body because this, this arm would have to change its rotation and it's not changing its rotation when I tilt it back. See that? And so that allows it to be square when I set it behind the ball. And sometimes Mo would have the club well behind the ball, allowing him to be square both places here and here. Right? So just remember that the body position at address is different than the body position at impact. So what we're trying to do, and what Mo figured out, and you know, he's a genius to figure this out, was that if I set the club back, it helps me take the club on the proper path to the inside. It needs to be sitting square, because everything's aligned here. And then impact is also aligned, but my body's more open. So here you go, address, and then impact. Now another question people ask about Mo's address is why is the club sitting slightly on the heel, right? So if you look down the line, the club slightly on the heel. And it's really the same explanation in the sense that the body is more closed at address and more open at impact. If I do that, if I just go from address to impact, you can notice this sh shoulder is traveling a little bit that direction. So if I put the club down, it needs to be on the slightly on the heel. So by the time I get to impact, it's more solid in the sweet spot of the face. I think it's a very critical thing because all good ball strikers are going to be more open than at address and so you're basically creating a spatial relationship that allows that. So now when I go to address it's slightly on the heel, by the time I get to impact it'll be at the sweet spot. But I'll tell you, one of the biggest problems you're going to have is if you don't, see if you put it on the toe of the club, so if you set that club on the toe at address, and then I, I come in to open, see it's gonna, it's gonna miss the ball or hit it on the toe. So, and if you, even if you put it right on the sweet spot, you may hit it on the toe. So if you guys are hitting the ball off the toe, it's because you haven't given yourself the proper spacing here. So set it slightly on the heel of the club. So that was, that was right in the right spot on the face, but you gotta make sure, once again, that you set the club slightly off the heel at address so when you're setting it down it'll be slightly on the heel and you got to really make sure that you're not setting it off the toe or even the sweet spot because if you set it too much off the toe you're going to come off it's going to come in here and you might hit the ball off the toe or if you set it even towards this more on the center you may still hit it slightly on the toe so just make sure once again that you're putting the club slightly on the inside of the club head on the heel because you're going to be slightly more open at impact which will help you get a more solid strike. And that's the reason most set the club slightly on its heel.